Who will pay taxes if everyone goes offshore? I'm Andrew Henderson, and that was a question that was recently posed to me on social media. Now, I don't want to spend much time in this video debating the merits of what we talk about here at Nomad Capitalist, the idea of go where you're treated best and choose your own tax rate, because quite frankly, I remember growing up uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, my father was in the financial business, but had a, had a side hustle, as you'd say, uh, hosting an afternoon radio show. And it was funny that he would tell me stories. Uh, he was a, a pretty libertarian kind of guy, lower taxes. Uh, and he would see people who'd come into the radio business who started out making you know, pretty typical low radio salaries. And then it says it was always funny to watch as a few of those people became really successful and started making more money, how their position changed from when they had very little money, complaining about how the rich didn't pay. And then as they became richer and richer, somehow magically understanding how it worked and pushing back and saying, yeah, we should probably not have such high taxes. It's interesting to see that the unelected bureaucrats, like the folks at the OECD, who don't pay taxes, are the first ones who want to tell the rest of us that we should pay a lot. It's interesting in a country like the United States, where almost half of all people don't pay any federal income tax, yet have the right to complain that people who pay a lot of federal income tax aren't paying near enough. So to understand what would happen if everyone went offshore, who would pay taxes, we first must understand that many of the people complaining that people aren't paying enough taxes aren't paying any at all. But here's my response to the greater philosophical issue. You know, so many people assume that I'm telling all of you to go offshore and stop paying. And one reason I wrote the, the book Nomad Capitalist was because I wanted to expose you to so many different ways to go where you're treated best. I had a gentleman who has become a friend of mine. He came to me about a year and a half ago. Uh, he's got a net worth of about $75 million. And he, the first thing he said to me when he called, he said, Andrew, I have no intention of leaving the United States. My wife likes it here. My kids go to great schools here. I like it here. He says, I want to take advantage of investments. I'm not getting any bang for my buck in investing here anymore. Yields are going down. There's no appreciation. The banks are crap. His goal was not saving taxes. His goal was to take some of his capital, move it offshore, and take part of, in great boom markets around the world. And so if he goes and moves a million dollars into a private bank in Singapore, Singapore won't tax the interest on that income, uh, but the United States will tax his interest income. And so the idea that everyone is simply going to go offshore and save money on taxes is not true. Here's the reality. Most people are not going to go offshore and save taxes because there are places like California that will always appeal to people. Some wealthy people don't care about paying taxes. And so it's just simply nonsensical that everyone's going to all go offshore and not pay taxes. But let's just say that were to happen. Let's just say that all of the rich people decided to invest somewhere else besides their home country, decided to go somewhere else where they could pay lower tax rates. Again, some people would say, you know what, I don't want zero tax. I don't want to live that life. Can I live in Europe? I'll pay Montenegro's 9%. That's good enough for me. And if you're coming from the U.S. where you're paying 45, paying 9 is still a pretty good deal. But if nobody paid anything, what would happen? Stores that go out of business do so because nobody wanted to shop there anymore. It's the free market at work. And yet, nobody's saying, why aren't we propping up these stores that we don't want to go to anymore? You simply ask yourself, whoever shopped at that store? Your grandparents did, your parents did, but the store failed to adapt. New competitors came that were more intriguing, offered better value, lower prices, better customer service, and people flocked there. And as a result, those who didn't reinvest in building an experience that people loved went out of business. We don't see anything wrong with that. Nobody's sitting around crying for Radio Shack. But yet, we cry when the country is falling. What would happen if one country just said, listen, we can't sustain ourselves? Well, they're probably not going to go out of business, but they'd be forced to reinvent themselves. And so what you have right now is a very unfree market situation in the world. You have plenty of uh, countries that are attracting talent, that are rolling out the red carpet, that are lowering taxes, sometimes to zero, sometimes to much lower than what you're paying now. And instead of saying, let's be better, governments like the US and the UK and Australia and Canada are just pushing back harder. Now, I'm all for saying, if you want to live in those countries, there will be rules to follow. But I'm also for saying, if you don't want to live in those countries, if you want to take your business elsewhere, you should be allowed to do so. And the answer to what would happen if everyone did that 
is that simply the countries that no longer had a compelling value proposition would be forced to get one. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.